Proton did release Proton Pass, which is their password manager. First thoughts, go. My initial impression so far is that it's pretty feature limited right now, but it's a very polished user experience. I would say that everything that it does right now, it does well um, it, it, in, as far as I've seen so far. Um, it has a pretty slick integration with simple login out of the box with new, completely brand new, um, like pass mail domains that aren't in the normal simple login set of domains. Um, so um, yeah, everything seems to work in my limited testing so far. I just started using it recently, but um, like autofill works. The saving password prompt is pretty slick. It just, everything just seems to work so far. Um, right now it's pretty limited. It doesn't have like custom fields, I don't think, or um, like anything except just a simple username and password per login. Um, whereas other password managers will let you store like different types of items and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, right now they have like an kind of, they have a broad note category for each thing. So you can have username, password, TOTP, I believe, and then note. A note is just broad, like type out whatever the hell you want because it's a note. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to have more like formal fields like Bitwarden has, or especially KeyPass, because KeyPass, you can make like custom fields for anything and it's really powerful in that work. I don't know if Bitwarden does that, but... Um, I'm not sure. I know 1Password does that, so that's what I like about it a lot. Yeah, it's a cool feature. Um, on my end, uh, I, I agree with you completely so far. Like everything, I'm actually very impressed with how polished it is so far. Um, and I think it's one of the best rollouts I've seen from Proton. Because normally, like, they'll release, like, everything on desktop first. And then they'll get, like, one mobile app, like, four months later. And then the next mobile app comes out four months later. And then they, like, slowly leak out of beta over the course of the next, like, six months. Um, this one, though, it's, like, you can actually use it on pretty much all your devices right now. Um, with the exception of Firefox. Is it live on Firefox yet? Um, oh, let me double check. Yes. Awesome. There it you is go. on the Firefox store. Um, it's marked as experimental. Interesting. I've never seen that on the Firefox add-on store before. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's actually really important because this is my biggest gripe right now with Proton Pass. Is that so with Proton Mail, Proton Drive, Proton whatever, when you click on that little four dots on the top left, and you have all four of them in your little suite. As of mm -hmm. right now, there is no Proton Pass. There's no central web app for right. Proton Pass. It's only in the extension. You have to use the Proton Pass extension to use Proton Pass on your computer. It's not a program you download. It's not even a web app. It's literally in the extension. And that's actually my biggest gripe with it because now it's like in this little tiny window. Because I haven't found a way to like view all my passwords like full screen. It just lives yeah. in my little extension window because that's all it is. It's just an extension. So actually, it was a really big deal and a bigger deal than I thought it was that Proton initially announced this without Firefox support because it meant you literally couldn't access your passwords on a Firefox-based browser. You had to use a Chromium-based browser. That's no longer a thing, which is awesome. So it's nice to see them actually roll this out to all clients. I don't know why they didn't wait, like, what, four days, five, like, I don't know why they didn't wait a week to just wait for Firefox to be live so that they could say it's on all clients, but like for 99% of users, they're never going to know because almost no one has access to this right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can definitely forgive them for things like that in the, yeah. in the beta period. So yeah, agreed. But yeah, I agree. It's, it's smooth. I, I, I would like to see like some kind of central client though on desktop. Um, even yeah. if it's a web app, it doesn't need to be like a program you install, but it'd be cool to even have a web app that you can like bookmark and kind of install to your system so you can just load Proton Pass and view your passwords. Maybe even offline question mark. Does it work offline? Have you checked that out? I have not tried that yet and I didn't get the mobile apps until just a few hours ago, so I haven't used those at all. I've only used the extension so far, so um, definitely still have to test out some of that stuff. Same. I, I would touched. imagine the apps, I would hope the apps would work offline, but I guess we'll figure that out. Me too. I haven't touched the mobile apps either. I'll have to try them out and see how they integrate with especially Android autofill. iOS has mm. really good native autofill support, but Android yeah. is awful. It's so bad on Android, dude. And like, it is. It's terrible. And then even like individual browsers have to support it as well. 
It's mm -hmm. oh my god. So that bad. is one of the main things. Like, there's been a lot of things that are keeping me off of Android, and I thought that I I was using my Pixel again, and I was thinking like maybe I could switch to this um, as my main phone because I can probably get over most of this stuff. But that is. It's the worst experience trying to use a password manager. Like if you're used to things just working correctly the first time, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to give that up. <laughs> Agreed. And it's weird how like even password managers like I think KeyPass DX like the way they have to work sometimes is that don't they need like the accessibility permission to like record your screen the whole time? That is definitely a thing. Like um, with password managers that like requesting accessibility options. I know when I was trying 1Password on Android, they had like three different ways you could enable autofill and you were supposed to enable all of them so that it worked in all the apps. There's the native autofill, there's um, that accessibility one where you can like draw over the screen and like that type one. it into apps that don't support it. And then there's like another weird one. There's like special integrations with certain browsers, stuff like that. It's it's ridiculous on Android. That's a joke. No, that's a joke. I mean, on iOS, for people who don't use iOS, Apple has, like, I assume some kind of, like, operating system API that every app and every browser hooks into directly that just natively hooks into any password manager. It can hook into Apple's password manager. It can hook into KeePass. It can hook into Bitwarden. It can hook into any native app you have installed that utilizes this. I assume it's some kind of API or something. Yeah. And it must just be the exact same API that iCloud Keychain uses because it's very well supported in apps. There are a couple apps where sometimes it doesn't work. Like for some reason, the password prompt doesn't come up over the keyboard for some reason, but that's happened like two or three times maybe ever in two or three different apps on my iPhone. Whereas like probably more than 50% of the apps on my Pixel just don't support autofill for no reason at all. 